Hello and welcome back to Next Stop Nowhere. Um, last time we had a little bit of a, a rubbish episode to be honest because we had Michigan die uh, and Sarah get kidnapped by Zeb. Um, we did have a nice couple of moments where we got to know Eddie a little bit more, we got to know Nix a little bit more and she painted a mural on our wall so that was quite nice. Um, and yeah, it, it was a bit of like a oh wow, what's happened sort of episode, do you know what I mean? Um, I did just try and record this episode and it all seemed to go wrong, but I think like the uh, the game crashed a little bit, so um, this is my second try at getting it to work, so let's see and hopefully it will. Um, we're now boarded with Zeb's ship and we're moving in for uh, the kill, so to speak. So the rescue, Sarah's been kidnapped by Zeb who has taken it upon himself to turn in the jump drive and his ex-partner for the bounty payout. It's up to Beckett and friends to rescue her and stop Zeb before it's too late. Zeb, first things first. Figuring out what's first. Saving my mom and a story. We can and will do it all. Beckett, you're the closest thing to sane in this bucket of crazy. Someone's got to boost the jump drive. Someone's got to disable the security systems we're not detected. And someone's got to pick the big probably unpickable lock on the big door between us, Ed's mom, and Zeb. I'm gonna say wrench for the security system, Zeb, uh, not Zeb, <laughs> Phobos for the pick in the door, and uh, maybe Eddie or Tex for the stealing the jump drive. So this is the problem that I was having, but I think it's just that the thing wasn't appearing above the door, so if I just No, it worked last time. There we go. Yeah, a little bit glitchy, but we're, we're in. Oh. God. Oh my stomach. Okay, we're in. Honestly, we're lucky there aren't like needles in this stuff. Fresh, you good? No. Um, he's fine, who cares? Let's go save Mom. Oh, poor Wrench. I care, Wrench. Head inside. Okay. Well, that was a disgusting... Yet effective. Yet effective way to make an entrance. Right, so who's doing what? Uh, okay. Who's retrieving the jump drive? Hmm. Uh, Tex, Tex would you mind grabbing it? Not at all. I've never seen one up close. It'll be like the zoo. We're going with you. What is Tex what doing? Like. That's true. <laughs> Alrighty, let's hit it. Okay, who's deactivating the security system? Let's see. Uh, Wrench. Wrench, you may be a rotten little pickle man. True. But you're one hell of a hacker. True. All yours. Let's get pickled. That just leaves the door. Oh no, put on your war face and go scare that door into submission. No survivors. And then there was one. I should make sure they don't blow themselves up. I should help out wherever I can. Where to first? Oh, so do I do all three, probably. I'll go help Wrench first. Uh, and then I'll go help uh, Eddie in that lot. No? Don't, don't want to go that way? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> it's, it's like this game doesn't want you to end it. There we go. Whoa, not your typical circuit breaker. Unhackable hunks of old world spike. Can't stand them. Never could, never will. Uh, disable security. Hyperglue? I don't know if that's a good thing to use or not. But it's letting us, so. Well, shave my mustache. Look at you figuring it out. Good work. Don't shave my mustache. Of okay, course that's not. the security system down. There's still work to do. <laughs> so Wrench literally did nothing. There. Great. Let's go help steal the jump drive. And then we'll go deal with the door and get Sarah back. Oh, hey man. Hey, you guys run into any trouble? Not a bit. That's... The jump drive's plugged in right here but it looks like the magnet locks are powered somewhere else. Lucky us. Help me out real quick. 
Oh, get glue. Yes. I like I like glue. And I just used some up, so I could reuse some more. Where am I going to help out? Where's Tex gone? I heard the voice. I didn't see her. What's, what's over here? Oh, postcard! Very important. I like that Zeb's got a postcard for his own place. Love the postcards. They're really cool. Uh, so, what am I doing? Oh my goodness, come on. <laughs> hmm. What's up, Cody? See any hidden panels? No, no, I'm just scanning for someone resembling Zeb the Chief Engineer. Too old, done left limbs. Where could they be? Why are you looking for his mechanic? So you can punch them in the face for this wiring job. Hmm. <laughs> okay, try grabbing it now. Got it. Hell yeah. Let's hot tail it back to the group. <laughs> what is going on with Tex? She's having some troubles here. There's still more work to do. You guys get back to Cody. Not gonna happen, Captain. I'm helping you get mom. Fine. The rest of you head back. Ed, I'd tell you not to die, but I really want your coat. Love you too, Lemon Drop. <laughs> See you at the bulkhead, Vex. Okay, so it's just me, Eddie, and Phobos, or Odo. It's like a big family reunion and then me stuck in the middle. <laughs> I have zero idea what to do with this thing. It's pretty, though. It is, but looks aren't everything. Okay. Cody, let's do this. You, you got, got this, Beckett. Beckett. Jinx. Jinx. Damn it. <laughs> oh, so there's more people involved. I was about to go at it with my team. All right. Bounty hunters slash reserve couriers, you wait here. We will create a rear guard. Go on and find Sarah. If you find Zeb, you better holler. Right. Shall we? We shall. I don't know where Tex is. She just keeps disappearing. Let's do this. Okay. You think I don't know what you're scurrying about? Guess again. What? How? We're covering our tracks. I don't know, dude. Let's just find Mom and roll. Okay. Mom's gotta be in one of these. It's never gonna be the first one, is it? Goose egg. Lame. Let's check out the other one. Fellas, tight and a half. Randy? When Zeb grabbed me from the last stop, I thought I was burnt toast. <laughs> what happened? happened back there? He snuck into your ship and perp walked me into his flying jail. Jeez, I'm sorry. Cody's docked nearby. Get on board. Gladly. And don't piss off the bounty hunters. Lowest of profiles, fellas. Subterranean. There you go. I knew Randy was about somewhere. She won't smile. She'll be happy, but a smiling she won't do. It's like she's allergic to it. You'll see. Wait, what? Look, she must have hacked the console. And gone where? Alert, weapon storage compromised. <laughs> Alert, weapon storage compromised. I'll give you one hot guess. Come on. We may have tried to love each other once upon a long time. But that was then, and this is business. I'd stay out of mind, sir. If you got a brain cell still kicking around that pretty little head of yours. Wait, he's talking to Sarah. He doesn't know we're here. Advantage, us. Oh. The mother. Beckett reaches Sarah's holding cell on Zeb's floating fortress, but discovers she's already freed herself. This is cool. I like it. Whoa. Hello. Mom, Eddie, Beck, what are you guys doing here? Stop for snacks. What do you think? We're breaking you out. You got patched up. Zeb was gonna hand me over to the Screamers with the jump drive as extra incentive for extra cash. Targets are always worth more alive. How thoughtful. Come on, we got the jump drive. Let's beat it. No, he can't keep getting away with this. He kills, he smiles, he flies away. He doesn't believe in consequences. I'm making him a believer. Whoa, Mom, seriously? Um... Okay, we'll... What the hell was that? I have a feeling whatever I said wouldn't have mattered, but um, yeah, Zeb deserves it. Who are all these people? Oh, that was a close one. Come on, let's get to the bridge. Eddie, wait. Chase him. Wait, that actually worked? Yo, 
owe me five bucks, Paul. Yeah, anyways. Zeb, I got a bone and a half to pick with you, friend. Oh man. So the the screamers, they they just rammed into the ship. I think they used the drill thing. Oh. Well, would you look at that? I have my own bounty. Oh. Criminal element. Moving on. Right. I guess that remote didn't do much. It's all the psychic. It's all come down to this for Beckett, Sarah, and Eddie. They can steal the jump drive, get off Zeb sit, and survive. Or can they? Mom? Sarah Beckett. Hey, there's a hot box of rocks. What are you doing? He's the one aiming at your kiddo. Don't buy his altruism. He just wants to make Mama and Papa Bear happy by bringing in Eddie alive. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting pause here. You're delaying inevitability. Question is, who's gonna figure? I am. Go, Becky. <laughs> we negotiate, or I smash this. Facts. Make your cases and quick. Hand it over to me. I'll walk away. Return it for a fair price. No shots fired give it to him, I have to report that to my superiors. Even if he gives it back, then I have to chase you guys down just to make an example. Seen it before? Always ends the same. Sticky. Give it to him? He'll do that anyway. I'll ensure your safety. Of course he'd say that. He knows he's deep fried if he comes home empty-handed. Screw all of them, man. We hang on to it. There's no way they can chase us an inch. Case is made. Oh no. Judges need an answer. Oh man. Yearwoods, I'm thinking, because then if they have it they might just leave us. You know what? All this crap started when it was stolen from the Yearwoods. Maybe it'll stop when it's returned to them. Definitely it will. Definitely it won't. Whoa! That was not cool. Beckett, I'm energy readings. Beckett, Cody, energy immeasurable, unknown. You won't. Oh God, you won't. Won't what? They're going to. Bye, Beckett. Ah, uh, goodbye, Cody. In case this is it, goodbye, buddy. You were a great rectangle. Wait. Oh. Uh, hit the shut down. Back it. Together. Handsome. Ooh. Almost. There. Finally. I'll be taking this. You need to shut it down. Not before I shut you down. Oh. <laughs> that thing was critical. <laughs> he went flying, man. Let's do this. That was close. Hey. Is Eddie okay? Hey, Ma. This sucks, huh? Eddie, I beg it. Help. Help, Eddie. You're strong, dude. Beg it? Sarah? We took out all the screamers. Are, are you guys dead? Let me know if so. Not yet. We need to get back to Cody. Come on. Oh my goodness. Things are getting insane. But also, where's Zeb go? He's going to be on Cody or something, isn't he? You just know it's not over. Lemon drop. Guess who got shot? Is it fatal? I don't think so. Damn it. I really wanted your coat. Ah, you can still have my coat. It's less cool if you're still alive. Beckett, you didn't die. Neither did you. Neither did you. That would explain your odor. Up on, kiddos. Pretty sure we're all older than you. Come on, Bex. I need a coffee and a shower. Ooh, maybe a coffee shower? Wait. Don't leave me. 
Please. I'm begging. Oh, well, you died. You, you can't. You didn't die? Not yet. When the drive went critical, it fried every navigation system in the bridge, and then some. We're heading straight for the moon, and it ain't gonna be whisper quiet when we land. Sensors confirmed. Crash is imminent. Wow, I really should have checked that earlier, huh? Please don't leave me here. <laughs> it's just business. Nothing more, less, or anything in between. Nothing personal. Nothing at all. What do you do for us? Render. Full and well. It's tempting. But you know what? Your callbacks. Take out the trash or recycle it. I'm getting coffee. Why is it always my call? Why am I always the one who has to make the hard choices? I'm gonna need a hand if I'm coming along. I'm not a monster, jeez. Oh, I can knock out his teeth? It's sorely tempting, but I'm not that right, horrible. Come on. <laughs> I... I did try to make her happy. <laughs> Not as much as I should have, and nowhere near as much as I could have, but I tried. <laughs> I surely did. <laughs> oh, you're not forgiven. Me. You think that forgives you? No. Good. Truth be told, I'm saying it more for myself. But here's something for you. I've I've seen the way you two look at each other. <clears throat> Take her dancing. She'll never ask. She'll never admit to it. <laughs> but you want to see light in her eyes? Take her dancing. Cause if you don't dance, you ain't no friend of mine. Goodbye, Zeb shit. Go boom boom now. Go boom boom boom. Everybody say way oh, way oh. Say a boom boom boom. The destination. A road trip wouldn't be. Oh, it's just gone. I want it. A road trip wouldn't be a road trip without a destination. And Beckett and Sarah had finally reached theirs, but a few, few loose ends still need tying up. Fly like mm, an eagle. What you doing, sailor? Uh, organizing. Our little moon detour made a proper mess in here. Well, Mister Package Tidier, folks are itching to deboard and get on with their getting ons. Can't say I mind. I swear I can smell Wrench's mustache. Okay, I'll be right up. Well, before that. I don't know what you're expecting to go back to, but you're wanted now. Wrench was checking the bounty job board. And you, sir, are numero one. The Yearwoods, the Screamers. Wow. You're not a courier anymore. You're a target. Uh, congrats. I'm sure your parents would be very proud. Cool. I know. <laughs> Sounds cool. And it is cool. But it's not, you know... Sustainable for a while, maybe, but never forever. So what do so, I do? What do you suggest? Eddie and Nix are going to their peach pit or whatever the hell it's called. I'm certain I would hate it. Just farmers and people legitimately wondering how your day is going and uh, sewing, I guess. Kill me. But um, I'm going with them. I'm going to a place I will hate to live a life I will probably also hate. But it's not like I'm in the honeymoon phase with the one I'm currently living, so... Yeah, they're going, I'm going, and I was wondering if you want to be, uh, going too with us, or if you want to come with us. That's, that's how I should have asked. I'm in. Absolutely, I'm in. Great. I'll tell them. And, hey, mailman, you're free of organization. Celebrate it. Celebrate! There you go. <laughs> Just walked off. Nice. nice, that's a good party. celebration. Come on up when you're ready. Ooh, so me and Sarah are gonna, gonna try and make it work. You are needed upstairs. Hey, you Becky. So let me tell you, it's been a hoot and a half. I've already left. This is all pre-recorded. So if you just said something, eh, I didn't hear it. Don't you feel stupid? <laughs> there you do. Anyway. Since you were gracious enough host, I reprogram your shower's water pressure. Hey, honestly, it was like the thing was softly weeping me clean. It should rip your pores wide open now. <laughs> it's my gift to you and yours. I still can't hear you if you said anything. Just FYI. Anyway, thanks for the stay, no hard feelings, and I won't be returning this book. Deuces! I do love Wrench. feel like he was a good friend when we needed him. <laughs> I'd say right. You won't. I can't. I'll be light years away. <sighs> Excuses. 
good that the two of you are hitting the road. Means I don't gotta share the bounty on no teeth here. I'll look in your direction, Sarah. Ma, come on! Let's get going! So, Tex has taken Zeb for the bounty! Zeb's not having a good time. Oh. So, what do you guys call this place again? The Apple Orchard. Are there, you know, apples? Maybe. All we know is the Atmo is breathable, the gravity's doable, and the planet is green. Green and secluded. Exactly. No bounty hunters, no screamers. Just trees, hippies, and hopefully something for me to spray paint. Yeah, that's great. But look, I expect apples, okay? I want if apples. If we don't find some, we'll, I don't know, grow some. Hit it, Cody. Boom! You guys got any movies? Several, of course we do. A number of which are only slightly complete garbage. Hab, come on, Ed. We need to turn off our brains. Want to join him? I'm too exhausted for a movie. And yet, I'd love a cup of coffee. I'll brew a fresh pot. Come on. <sighs> God bless you, hot bean juice. <sighs> Man's greatest really creation. Really the greatest accomplishment of the human race. Cheers. So, we should probably talk about next steps. Cody knows where he's going. I mean about you and me. Oh. Ooh. It's just, I don't know. Doesn't feel like we've, you know, started. Like everything up until now was just this crappy uh, overture, I guess. But now, you know, now we can let the music play. Now we can dance. Do you like dancing? Uh, I don't know. Time to dance. Oh, what's this now? Hey. Hey. Dance with me. Dance with me. We're gonna dance! Cody. No music. music. Oh, music. What in the name of holy hell? At the Borlock Diner, you revealed your preference for lo-fi indie rock. <laughs> no, no, pause, no, stop the music, no, no. It came back what to haunt me. Like? Play something that no one's ever heard before. Composed. Much better. This is stupid. This, this is stupid. We look stupid. Okay, we'll stop. S stop and I kill you. You you want to lead? Or should I? I'll lead. I can lead. That's how this works, right? I have no idea how any of this works, but let's find out together. Let's. Oh, this is so sweet. It's a love story at the end of it all. And that's the end. It was a little bit abrupt ending. But I think that was a really nice ending. It was such a good game as well. I love this game. It was so fun to play. Um, it was a little bit buggy. I think maybe they need to just work on tweaking some of the bugs. Which occasionally just kind of killed the game a little bit. But overall, it was awesome. Really loved the game. It was such a good story. So funny in places. So uh, actually quite like... Uh, like heartwarming in places as well and yeah just really enjoyable the art style was amazing so yeah if you ever have a chance to have a little playthrough obviously you've just watched me play through it but you know give it a go it's great and thank you to all these people for making an awesome game And there we go. I just wanted to sit through the credits because just appreciate the people who worked on this. 
and put all of their hard time and effort into it to make it an amazing game. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. Who knows what's going to be next? I'll be hunting through Apple Arcade for a, a good game that I want to play. Uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.